just finally, I've always felt sorry for Pluto since it became the dwarf planet. And now I'm worried about Neptune. So Neptune's the interesting. Weather. The weather is changing on Neptune, the clouds, and we do think it's due to the solar cycle. So the sun goes through this 11 year variation of more output and less. Mm. When we get more output from the sun, we do get more solar flares. Uh, we get more interference in our satellites. So this is the picture here, shrinking clouds. So that's right. So you can see in 94 when Hubble was first looking at it and then that evolution. So if you kind of go back 11 years from today where we're at peak, the last peak was, you know, in, in 1990 uh, or mid to 20 teens mm. when there's a lot of activity and then less. So there's also a delay that we're seeing as well. It takes time for that radiation to get to the to sure. Neptune, about two years. Does it mean it's sort of more susceptible or get burnt or sort of battered or like so it gets, cloud is protection? So, so it does. In fact, the reason we were seeing that on the image is the glow is reflected sunlight right. from those clouds. And look, we know the sun affects the production of ozone on Earth. That's you know been established for decades. Um, it's uh, interesting to see these reactions on other planets due to the radiation, but in the reverse effect. You get more of it, you actually get less cloud systems that are being formed, as we're seeing in the data. And it, it, look, we're just starting to scratch the surface of really weather and climates on other planets, and this is a great example of it. Dr. Brad Tucker, thank you.